What's up, my fuckers? So today I'm gonna be telling you guys about the story that I like to call doing ketamine and riding motorcycles. So before the story does start, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. So this story takes place just around two and a half to three months ago now. Um, it was on a Saturday night, and every Saturday night, me and my boys went to this car meet. So there'd be a car meet uh, in a parking lot, and it was a pretty big car meet around like anywhere from two to five hundred people. Um, sometimes even six hundred if it's a really big night. Then from the car meet, uh, a bunch of people will go directly to a gas station about ten minutes away. Then from that gas station, we'll all chill out for another. 30 minutes to an hour and then people from there will go directly to an undisclosed location and they will do street races so our daily routine on saturday nights is normally we'd link up around six or seven head to the car meet chill there walk around look at cars look at bikes um go to the gas station chill there for a little bit then we'd go to the uh races and watch the street races go down maybe participate in one or two depending on how we're feeling so on this faithful night, it was a Saturday night, and it was around 7 to 8 o'clock at this time, and we had just been hanging out with my boy, we'll call him Dawson for the sake of the story. Um, so we'd just been hanging out with my boy Dawson's house, so it was me, and then I'll also call my other friend Carl. So it was me, Carl, we were hanging at Dawson's house, and uh, we went to Dawson's house to go pick up his bike, because he just got a speed bike, he has a, a 600... I don't know what it was. I just know it's a 600, and that bitch is fun to ride, let me tell you, because he let me ride it for the first time, uh, like, a few minutes before the story took place. So we're chilling at his house, and we head back to my house, because he lives about 45 minutes away from me and Carl's houses, and the um, car meet and races are on our side of town, not his side of town. So we head to our house. Um, uh, I'm going in Carl's whip. He's driving. Uh, I'm in the passenger seat, and Dawson's riding his bike. Now, Carl has a G8. Um, it's just I think it's just called a G8. Uh, it's a G8, and basically... We were zooming the whole way back. We made it in like 30 minutes. They were going like 110 on the freeway the entire time. We were just fucking zooming because Dawson had just got a speed bike and he was just a fucking demon. He's still a fucking demon on the bike. Uh, I hope he doesn't crash or anything because that man be going fast as fuck for no reason. So we get back to my house, right? And I had planned on riding my brother's motorcycle. My brother has like a, a 350. It's a cruiser. Um, it's just like a fun little motorcycle. So I planned on riding that there because Dawson was riding his bike. And then Carl was going to drive his car because he was going to participate in some races later that night. But when we got to my house, uh, me and actually, uh, I grow mushrooms, right? So Dawson had found me a play, a zip play. So I go in and grab a uh, zip of mushrooms. And I also grab my little bag of ketamine because on this faithful night, I was like, fuck it. You know, I could do a few bumps at the fucking uh, car meet, you know, vibe a little bit. And I was going in to grab a zip of mushrooms anyways to sell. So I was like, Fuck it, I'll just grab the bag of ketamine. So I grabbed the zip of the mushrooms and I grabbed the bag of ketamine and I head back down. And Carl's like, hey, bro, like, you know, uh, can I ride your brother's bike? Because he wanted to ride bikes with Dawson. Uh, and you can just ride my whip. And I was like, all right, bet. Say fucking less. So I give Dawson the zip of shrooms. He puts it in his backpack because he's on a bike. So if he does get pulled over or anything, he can just hit the fucking dash. Because he also had no plates on his bike at this point. Still don't think he does have any plates on his bike, but you know, fuck it, we ball. So I hand him the zip of shrooms. I put the little bag of ketamine in my pocket. I hop in Carl's whip and we're off to the fucking races. So about 25 minutes later, uh, not 25, it was like 15 to 20 minutes. It's not that far away. We pull up to the, um, the car meet, sorry, not the race. We pull up to the car meet and it's fucking live as shit, bro. There's rows of people fucking just cars and bikes. And then fucking off to the left, there's all the fucking squatted trucks and lifted trucks. And for some reason, the squatted trucks and lifted trucks, you know, they always have these fucking fat ass speakers, uh, in their trunk or in their car. And they always provide music for every single car meet out here. They're providing music. I mean, uh, I kind of respect it because sometimes they do have some good song choices, but then sometimes just some random shit. So they're blaring music. You can hear it all the way across the parking lot to the other end. Uh, they got some fat ass speakers. There's already two cops posted up at the other side just to, you know, I guess, make sure nothing goes down. You know, fuck 12. But there's two cops posted up and we park up. Um, Dawson and Carl, or Dawson parks his bike and Carl parks my older brother's bike in one spot. And then I park Carl's car right next to it. So we hop out and we're just walking around. Now, I forgot to say, I also grabbed a pack of cigs, Camel Crush cigarettes best cigarette you'll ever smoke so i grabbed a pack of cigarettes because you know when you're off the ketamine uh, a cigarette kind of goes fucking hard i cannot lie and the ketamine cigarette is an experience that you just don't know until you experience it so walking around i got the fucking lighter and um the cigarettes and the ketamine in my pocket we're walking around looking at these cars and we meet up with one of our groups of friends we're all talking just chilling and we're about 20 to 30 feet away from the cops bro and i'm thinking in my mind i was like damn bro these cops don't even know i have a bag full of ketamine in my pocket and i was like hold on what scheduled drug is ketamine? Like, am I walking out of the fucking... Because honestly, I think I was walking out with a gram or two of ketamine. Like, uh, I got it sent to me by my boy Luck. Shout out fucking Luck. So I've honestly never bought ketamine before. So I don't even know, like, how much, like, worth of ketamine, if that makes sense. Like, how much... Like, I didn't really know how much ketamine I had. I went home later at night and waited out. It was about two grams. So I'm pretty sure that's a lot of fucking ketamine, but I don't know. So I was just in thinking in my mind looking at these cops because they're, like, 30 feet away from us. I was like, damn, these cops don't know shit, bro. I have a bag of ketamine on me. 
And that shit low-key just wanted to, that shit made me just want to go do some ketamine. So I go, there's a Taco Bell, <clears throat> like, across from the fucking, uh, because it's in a parking lot at, like, uh, where there's, like, a Best Buy and a bunch of other stores. So it's just a big parking lot, and we use that parking lot normally for the car meet. And there's a Taco Bell on the completely, like, opposite side of the parking lot. So we walk over to the Taco Bell because I want to do a bump of ketamine. And uh, for those of you that have done ketamine and don't, haven't done ketamine, basically, there's a fucking drip that you get similar to cocaine because, obviously, you fucking snort the ketamine, right? I don't think you can gum ketamine. You might be able to. I really have no clue. I've never personally gummed ketamine. I've always done lines or bumps. So I wanted to go get a drink so when I fucking do the bump of ketamine, the drip doesn't make me want to kill myself because the drip is actually fucking horrible. It's a straight fucking chemical taste just tastes horrible it tastes like fucking the worst chemical you can think of kind of tastes like molly but also kind of doesn't it's just fucking straight chemical like acid going down your throat it's horrible fucking you gotta have a drink if you're doing ketamine um i honestly don't know about the i've done coke like once or twice and the coke um coke drip was way easier to tolerate than the ketamine drip i can tell you that so we're heading over to taco bell we get in there and for some reason their fucking drink machine has nothing like everything is out but water uh, like all the fucking lemonades, cokes, sprites, everything fucking is out on, and it's one of those those machines. We have like fucking a hundred different options, right? I was like, wow, this Taco Bell's on some fucking fuck shit. So you know, I go get a large fucking water cup, get my fucking water cup, and I head to the Taco Bell bathroom. Uh, once I get in the Taco Bell bathroom, it's like a single stall. So normally they'll have like a fucking you know like two or three stalls, and it's like a multiple person bathroom. This was a single person bathroom, so I said, say fucking less. I go in the bathroom, lock the fucking door, bust out my bag of ketamine get out my wallet, fucking get my card out, and get a fucking bump, and I go, whoo, you know, get the fucking, get the bump, the ketamine down, uh, I walk back outside the Taco Bell bathroom, and we head out of the store, uh, now, as we get about 15 to 20 minutes, 15 to 20 feet away from the store, the ketamine drop fucking hits, I was like, damn, I was like, why isn't this ketamine drip fucking, like, I don't taste anything, then that shit hits like a motherfucking, I'm fucking spitting every goddamn three seconds, I'm drinking the water, that shit is just disgusting, so we go back to the car meet, and we're just walking around, and I just remember I saw a Nissan GTR in my fucking dream car, I was like, goddamn, it was an all black Nissan GTR, I was like, that's fucking beautiful, and there was also a Nissan GTR R34 there too, I was like, holy shit, why is there two Nissan GTRs here today, I don't know, it must have been the fucking day uh it's basically a god sign to do ketamine at the car meet when there's two nissan gtrs there so i i did exactly that i did some ketamine at the car meet so about five minutes of after us walking around after i'd done the original bump of ketamine i'm definitely starting to feel that shit starting to feel the music sounding a little bit better you know um i'm starting to like vibe a little bit more and i bust out my pack of cigarettes give my boy dawson one get one and i spark it up now here's what i say ketamine cigarette is an experience that shit is nice like a drunk cigarette that shit's nice as fuck a fucking cigarette while tripping on mushrooms or lucy that shit's nice as fuck and a ketamine cigarette's probably up there with them that shit is nice as fuck I cannot lie. So we're fucking, we busted out this cig and I'm fucking chiefing on this cig. We're walking around just chilling still. And around this time, I was like, hmm, the ketamine's starting to wear off. It's been about 20 to 30 minutes since that, because I just took small a bump. You know, I don't want to get fucking K-holed at the car meet. I've honestly never been K-holed before, and I didn't want to get K-holed for the first time at a car meet. So I hop back in my boy Carl's car, hop in the back seat, do another fucking bump real quick, and hop out. And this is when the vibes really start throwing really start flowing so uh the squatted trucks that i mentioned earlier with the fast speakers playing music they were playing some like dominican music or some it sounded like dominican music that's what i'm pretty sure it was it was just, like it had a crazy beat and it was fucking rapping in spanish or some other language i just tell you can tell you it was not english so they're playing a song and i started fucking vibing to the song i was like ooh, 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 you know vibing to the fucking song off the ketamine and i was like damn the ketamine's definitely fucking hidden because this song is hitting way harder than it should and all my friends fucking laughed because they all knew i was doing like a bumper to academy none of them wanted to do it but they all just thought it was funny um so we're vibing uh we vibe around the car meet for another 30 to 45 minutes and by this time it's about time to head to the gas station and the ketamine's basically worn off like i may be feeling the ketamine just a tiny tiny bit but not really at all so i was like okay i can ride the motorcycle to the gas station you know no problem i'm not off the ketamine i'm gonna get k hold while driving we're fucking good so we do exactly that i hop on my older brother's bike dawson hops on his bike carl hops in his car and we head out to the gas station now heading out to the gas station like leaving the car meet a bunch of the people the car meet will fucking eh, you know step on the fucking gas and and, uh zoom out of there so as we're leaving bro i have the ketamine in my pocket the car right in front of me fucking stepped on the gas and gets pulled over so i was like oh that's sick thankfully it wasn't me i mean i was on a fucking a 350 motorcycle so it can't really go nowhere and it's not loud and i wasn't really planning to step on it but yeah the car right in front of me getting pulled over while i have a bag of ketamine in my pocket that shit was pretty sick so we get over to the gas station and we're chilling there 
Now, normally, everyone will chill at this gas station for about 35 minutes or about 30 minutes to an hour, right? So I was like, we pulled up there. There's already a few cars there. More people were coming, like, as we get in. And I was like, all right, I can do another bumper to Academy and it'll wear off before we go to the races. So fuck yeah. So I do exactly that. We all park up. I hop out of the car or I hop out of my bike. I hop in the back of uh, Carl's car, do another fucking bump. Actually, when I hopped in the back of Dawson, of Carl's car, one of his other friends were rolling up a blunt in the back. So, you know, I'm just chilling there, watching him roll up the blunt a little, bust out my bag of ketamine, do another bump. Now, this bump was a slightly bigger bump than the other two, I cannot lie. So, after I do this bump, I fucking hop back out of the car, and we're all just talking, you know, I'm talking to my friends, and I was like, damn, I ran out of water, I need to go get another chaser. So, I walk into the gas station to go to grab a Gatorade. Now, I cannot lie. When I walked into this gas station to go grab the Gatorade, that ketamine, that bigger bump that I did fucking hit, bro. Everything started to slow down a little bit, stuff started to look a little weird. I was like, damn, this ketamine's hitting like a motherfucker. So I grabbed the fucking cool blue Gatorade, best Gatorade out there, go check out and head back out to the fucking, uh, to where everyone is under the, cause normally we would all pop like under the gas pumps and fucking, and just all the parking spots. Cause it's a pretty big gas station. So I head back out to everyone. And as soon as I get out there, I spark up another cig, bro. Now I'm just kicking the shit with my homies, smoking the cig. Literally not five minutes later, bro. Everyone starts peeling out to go to the races. I don't know why, but everyone wanted to go to the races early this night. And I was like, fuck bro. I just took a fat bump of K like literally 10 minutes or less ago i'm still fully feeling the effects and everyone's leaving i was like fuck dude i don't want to get left out i don't want to miss the races because normally the races will go on for about an hour hour and a half max before the cops show up the cops will normally bust it up every night or every time there's only been a few times where the cops haven't busted it up uh so everyone's heading out and i'm like fuck bro i guess i just gotta ride the motorcycle on the ketamine now <clears throat> not a bright idea don't op enter don't operate any vehicles under the use of any drugs especially ketamine because it is a dissociative so you don't really don't want to dissociate while driving uh not very fucking smart probably shouldn't have done this but you know fuck it we ball it's in the past we learned from our mistakes so i throw my airpods in i throw the fucking helmet on i hop on the bike i start the bitch up and i'm definitely just like damn I can definitely fully still feel the ketamine, but fuck it. I'm gonna drive this motorcycle there because it's only like seven minutes away max. Maybe it's super close to the gas station. That's why we all meet up at that gas station before. So we're heading out there and I cannot lie, bro. Riding the motorcycle off the ketamine, I had no fucking fear. I was going like 20 miles over the speed limit the entire time. I was feeling great. I was like swerving back and forth in the lane on the motorcycle. I had the music fucking pumping, bro. I was feeling great. So I cannot lie. Stupid idea to do ketamine and ride motorcycles, but it felt amazing, bro felt fucking great the ketamine motorcycle ride was amazing so we pull up to the fucking um we pull up to the street races and everyone parks up normally everyone will park up uh lighting down the road and then sometimes on the opposite side of the road they'll line up depending on how many people come when we get there there's not a lot of people there but by the end of the night there was a fuck ton of people there right so we're chilling and we're chilling at the fucking races and races start popping off like two corvettes race fucking a hellcat pulled up hellcat red eye pulled up so i really wanted to see the nissan gtr and the hellcat red eye race but they never fucking did and then fucking it was just like two civics would race some trucks would race everyone is racing we're having a great time i spark up another fucking cigarette and at this point i cannot lie uh halfway through this cig bro something just like came to my mind i was like damn i probably need to chill out and stop smoking cigarettes so halfway through the cig i was like damn this shit's nasty and i just threw it down and fucking put it out couldn't smoke another one and then from that point on we just chilled at the races for the rest of the night and i eventually went home i didn't do any more bumps of ketamine or anything just because i was like probably don't want to do like be fucking ketamined up if the cops do pull up and bust this shit up then i have to ride out of here while being ketted up so i didn't do any more fucking bumps of ketamine that night but i cannot lie it was a good ass night there was some good ass car races we had a good ass time we smoked some fucking cigs did some ketamine and it was just a good night in general but that was the time that i did ketamine and rode a motorcycle